And of course, the Premier Monday local MSM. I know it's quite of a trek for us living out on the A1A, but it's always fun just to be here and say hi to all the all the players from this area as well. Yeah. I mean, this is our biggest local here yeah. uh, in, in the SoCal region. If you're not watching this, I don't know what you're doing, man. Or you're Same. probably watching Hat or Wednesday Night Fight. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> one of those two. Yeah. I know, I know everybody's tuned in right now to the NorCal tournaments because I know a lot of players just flew directly to NorCal. But shout out to all you guys still watching here, remaining loyal. Let's go into it. Rich Brown versus Master Mario. Master Mario in loser semis here, beating up K-Swiss to make it out here. Yeah, Master Mario, we haven't seen him quite too often. I, maybe he's just been in the loser's bracket this entire time. I don't know what's been going on. Yeah, he's but been, looks been, like he's been going, I'm just looking at the bracket right now. He's been going... He, yeah, he started pretty early, and then he's just made his way all the way through, being a bunch of players. Yep. But now he's finally here uh, in a guaranteed fourth place, which is pretty consistent for Master Mario. Yeah, beat out Taternator, beat out Cyro, and then beat out K-Swiss. Wow, okay, so they all learned maybe the, the cape uh, kills the Pikmin. Interesting. Alrighty, uh, relatively even percents. Uh, I feel like just in general, Mario does a good job of being able to kill Olimar, and he's at that right height too, where his shortness doesn't quite affect him that much. But of course, uh, Olimar still got that kill power, still a very strong character. It's going to be difficult for Mario to really get things started, unless he can get something started right there, but oh. he didn't quite find the right option on the check chase. Nice, lands in with the neutral there, tries to close in the gap there after the ledge of the forward smash. Oh, and I like it, pulled the trigger a little early in that forward and Rich Round able to sneak through. Yeah. I mean, Mario's still really solid off stage. Like, if you can get the right read, like a jump or something off that fair, then you can pretty much guarantee your stock. Gonna go in, try and get something going. Not even gonna get the back air, but still keeping out that pressure with that jab, just putting on a little bit of a block string. Okay, able to use that cape and gets the return back on Rich Round. Rich Round getting up with a C from Z map and yeah. pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see how Master Mario tries to get the next uh, bit of damage right now. He's just trying to make his way in, but this time uh, Rich Round's being a little bit more aware of how Master Mario's been approaching on his shield. He's been doing a lot of nair into like jab or some kind of block string, but he's been doing, okay, I'm gonna up smash out of shield, you're not gonna go anywhere near me. Come on, Bears. Nice. Master up Mario air. brings them all the way up, and that won't do it, though. But pretty big comeback from Master Mario. If he tried to push it, maybe with one more up air, then he might have been able to seal it out. But yeah. I think he just wanted to get that guaranteed uh, damage before he put himself in a bad position, especially with high, how high percent he was in. Using okay. the flood to keep Rich Brown away from the ledge here. I like it. Let's go the ledge there to find a different edge guard and try to read Rich's uh, recovery from the ledge. Yeah. That down air is so good for Mario to be able to kill small and light characters. Definitely oh, yeah. a very solid option. You can see he's trying to get it, but uh, Rich Brown's saying, okay, I got a little spinny aerial with myself too. Gonna throw out that Nair. Great parry too. And those jabs just covers that spot dodge. Just do a great amount of damage, but Upshot out of shield is gonna be able to take out that next stock. All right, Master Mario resets himself on the left side of the ledge. They're trying to, I like how he's respecting the space between him and Rich. Trying to understand like, hey, let me outspace Pikmin and then find another way in from the M mic up. Ooh! A little bit of a tough spot for Master Mario, but he makes it back in with some fireballs. No red Pikmin online, so they can't just uh, go through that fireball like nobody's business. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can just get the boxing option there. You want to push Rich a little bit more towards the right side. Oh, just gives him the big fist with that forward tilt. Able to zone him out a little bit more. So anything can happen. I mean, this is Mario we're talking about. Like, if you can get one good upbeat combo off the top, that could potentially be it, especially on a stage like Pokemon Stadium. But it looks like Rich Brown's been doing a good job maintaining control. That's an nope. up smash, not a force smash this time around. I felt the force smash would have been the better call there, but Master Mario gets a second chance at life here. And Rich trying to outspace him on the comeback on the stage. She understands that Master Mario likes to come in with fireballs, likes to come in with landing dares. Outspace the landing and get the punish. Yeah, I really like what uh, Rich Brown did earlier. He did, got that forward smash and then he still kept it in shield to be able to go in and do with a jump fair before Master Mario could get anything. He just got that shield drop out. But oh, I'll throw, no, that's going to be able to do it, especially with the blue Pikmin. That's going to be game one. I heard I banned Battlefield. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. The acoustics were really good. <laughs> and I just heard Rich Brown from all the way over here. But yeah, he's banned Battlefield and something else. Probably something that kills Rich, off the top of Rich Brown easily. does play music, man. Yeah. He's, a, he's a music major, when, uh, so he plays music, man. He knows, he knows his acoustics. He knows when people have to hear him out. Shout out to his streams. I remember watching a couple of the streams. He would play music and play Smash. This, this man is literally so talented. If you ask a song, he'll listen to it once and then he'll, he'll, play, play, it. he'll play it back. Yeah, like, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not stage or anything. Like, yeah. Any song request, like, I guarantee you. Unless it's like something super hard and technical, but even yeah. then I'm sure he can do it because he plays piano. Piano, yeah. piano players are, are like solid. But anyways, what's also solid is Master Mario's combos right now. Getting that upper, upper into the upbeat, Ooh. taking him off the top. That's going to be a solid 
stock coming from Master Mario, putting himself in a really great lead right now. I even saw the grin on Rich's face as he got hit by that. You, you could tell that, you know what, this was this, this was unfair, man. I was robbed. <laughs> yeah. I was robbed. Mm -hmm. But Rich, nonetheless, though, still with the first point on the board. A lot of momentum swinging on to Master Mario. We'll see what momentum, I'm sorry, we'll see what Master Mario can do to ride this momentum. It's a down throw into the back air. I like that setup there. Just trying to keep Rich at the ledge, not letting him breathe there. Gets that forward in Master Mario. Looking to make the comeback here against Rich Brown. The man wants to go home and play Kingdom Hearts. I, I don't know if that was true or not, but that's, that up air to fair was pretty nasty if I've, if I've seen one. Uh, Rich Brown got a little, little bit of work to do, but if there's a good uh, comeback character, it is definitely Olimar just because of how big his damage output yeah. is. It's just a matter of him getting that because it looks like Master Mario is not letting him get anywhere close to trying to pluck new Pikmin and get those white Pikmin out. But there we go. Gonna get that force smash. Put him off stage. Yeah, no control there. Up throw in, up throw into up air. I like the change. It doesn't go for the edge guard face. Just wants percents to bring it closer against the rich. What's the option gonna be? Oh, <laughs> down to the spot touch and <laughs> Rich Brown just kinda scared, kept himself in shield, and Master Mario took advantage of it. Nice, comes in with the back of there. Both players just counseling each other out with those jabs. Master Mario just using those fireballs. We're gonna get there, but I like that Rich took advantage in the game and gets the gun to the up throw. What a change. What happened? I thought he was supposed to turn around. Or did he already dash back? And then I thought, yeah, he dashed like, back. He dashed yeah, back. I have no idea. That was so weird. It looked like that cape was the right option, but he just still got that grab anyway. So, <laughs> But that's gonna be Rich Brown. Gonna be finally taking the first stock off Master Mario, but still, he's put himself at 109%. One good solid hit from Master Mario will be able to do it. Just like that forward smash, that's gonna close it out. We're going 1-1 here in loser semis. Yeah, it's gonna be two stock lead for Master Mario, bringing it up 1-1 into game three. Pretty crucial here at this point. Uh, of course, both players. Game three is honestly the tie turner. You know, one player will be sent into game uh, set point, and the other player will have to fight himself back from the losing side. Of course, this is where stage counterpicks matter the most as well. Let's we'll see how things will go. Alrighty, we're gonna be moving on. Three, Going to Town City. One, this is a stage we haven't go. seen too often, but it's still possible to get Mario up B combos here, especially with the height of the side platforms, especially. I like that idea. He got the landing there afterwards to follow up. Could have gotten the turnaround up tilt, but he just didn't quite get that input in time. So Rich Round was able to get out of there just fine. Yeah. Okay, uh, interesting choice from Rich Brown. He Instead of going for the tech chase option on the platform, he decided to pluck Pikmin and regain a little bit of control of his moveset that time around. Don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but uh, he's he's the one in loser semis and not me, so uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt here. Uh, interesting dare. Tries to follow up with enough smash, but he's going to get that back air, and especially with that purple Pikmin, that's going to go ahead and work out. Okay, nice. Gets the back throw there. Master Mario had a lot of momentum into the last game, but Rich Brown turning things around with the first duck into his, into his name. Trying to <laughs> intercept tossing. with a fireball didn't quite work there. Oh, he just kept tossing the pick, man. He just does not want Master Mario to find that guy. Doesn't want to let him get the, come back here. Yeah, I mean, he has a, he had a pretty good loadout. I think he had two purples and a white. Now he's got two purples. It was just still pretty good. <laughs> he's just going to have to throw one away to try Oh, intercepted by a fireball. There we go. Going to make it back to the stage. And to use that purple pigment to protect himself. If he was watching in the match against Elegant, <laughs> then he, he should know yeah, that, he, he that, should purple works. that purple pigment is going to be really difficult to get around. Alright, Master Mario just picking and choosing his way back up the stage. Finally gets that back air, gets Rich off the stage here, using the flood just to get him a little bit further. Edge guard freeze for Master Mario and Rich Brown going to the other side for safe passage here. I like that he sent himself with the shield there, probably trying to get a back air out of shield or a uh, near out of shield, but that back throw will do it instead. Master Mario, even stocks, but not percents. Nice, comes in using those fireballs and gets a nice grab to boot. Ooh, that time around, Master Mario looked like he was kind of pushing it to get, yeah. get that falling up air into the combo. You know, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's right there. The, the platform <laughs> is nice and juicy to try and get that up E combo. He couldn't just, resist the temptation, man. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, that's going to cause him to get reversal, and that's going to be Rich Brown taking that next stock. That's the thing about this game. Sometimes you get a little too greedy. If you try to hold in too much, and you're trying to go towards your opponent a lot, it... It can definitely cost you, you know, whether you like it or not. You never want to get too greedy on the first date, man. You want to be a gentleman. Sometimes you don't want to get on that platform, man. Just give it a second. All right. Things will come back around, man. Master it's Mario, try to get that down throw into back air. Nice back throw. Not going to do it yet, but he goes back out there. Oh, man. He's really looking for it. Not going to be able to intercept him there. He's going to be able to sweet spot to the legend time. And again, that purple Pikmin are just so hard to get around. <laughs> purple
Purple Pikmin, definitely the MVP of all Mars Pikmin uh, toolkit. Nice, using that fireball to come in. That's what I want to see Master Mario just do a little bit more. Oh, trying to do that up smash, but Rich Brown was aware of it, so he just stayed outside of the range and tried to bait him into it. Back throw comes out. <laughs> I thought he was going to go for a different option, but the back throw for the edge card and the down smash to do it. Master Mario still living, and you holding on to that jump for just to make sure he comes back on the stage. You know that? Oh, okay. that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Is that the, yeah, okay, okay. That, that uh, little red flash thing. Sometimes it's not reliable, but we had a pretty high success rate here today. I think it's like, it's like I think that was like the first time we missed while we were well, <laughs> yeah, while yeah, we were yeah. on commentary at least. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, to critical Rich hit Brown. Yeah. is what it's usually called. Is it's it critical? Yeah, hit? critical hit. Is okay, okay, okay. I I didn't know the name originally, but people just told me like, oh, it's critical hit because it doesn't necessarily mean death, but it means you got a really strong hit that could actually lead to a death. Yes, Rich Brown, gentleman to gamer, do it right now. <laughs> Don't do it. No, man, come on, <laughs> gentleman to gamer. We saw Let's a bad. Do it. <laughs> we saw a bad stage picking Yoshi. Like, Don't do. <laughs> Wait for the bad stages at G6. Do, do us a favor, man. We're gonna be seeing that happen probably this whole weekend. All right, going back to Town City. I wonder if Master Mario heard us about like getting a little bit too greedy. Got reversal there, uh, trying and to look for those upbeat I see combos. Him, I see him with those earphones on, man. The, re the real power play there is listen to the commentators <laughs> when you have the earphones on, dude. Yeah. Trying to get the real insider knowledge, but we'll see what Master Mario can do here. Rich Brown at game point. Alrighty, here we go. All right, Master Mario using those fireballs to probably find a follow up in there. Using that downer to get rid of the Pikmin, I like how Master Mario is kind of changing the pace here. Using a little bit more Fireball game to find a follow up and go for a confirm. Is that grab? Gonna be able to continue into an up air string. No oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I like that little fair there. It's like, okay, you missed that up air. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go yeah. downwards. Rich Brown trying to create a little bit of space, and then now he's gotten cornered a little bit uh, as he was trying to chase him down. So he's going to be able to get a little bit more damage, try to get uh, a little bit racked up while he gets a down tilt into fair, put him off stage. Great control from Rich Brown, be able to reverse that just from positioning itself. Okay, using those fireballs, safe passage back to the stage. I like it, using the cape a little bit more to send the Pikmin back. Nice, using the fireball, close the gap with the neutral air there. Master Mara definitely feeling it out a little bit more against Rich. Rich Gets him off him for an opportunity. I like the cape usage from that Master Mario has been going for lately. Yeah. Oh, not gonna be able to get anything oh, out of that. I like cool. I like how Master Mario's been trying to mix up the timing of his bears on the platform, and that up smash is gonna be able to take it. But it looks like Rich Brown's been doing a better job of making sure he's gotten how Master Mario wants to mix up his tempo uh, on his aggression when he's got the platform uh, control. Yeah. And we even saw Master Mario just try to go for his own up smash, but Rich Brown got better on that one. Still, Master Mario not too far from closing this uh, the gap. Out to the fair. Floor, dude, man. That was pretty uh, interesting. I've <laughs> never seen that one before. Yeah, uh, Olimar is able to do that for a very long time. Dare is going to be able to beat him out right there. He's going to spend some time trying to get rid of the, the Pikmin on him. That's going to get Rich Brown a little bit of time to try to make it back. Double jump. Makes it to the platform. Still not enough to take it with that up air. But that Dare definitely will be able to do it. We got the screen splat on. 59% onto Master Mario. Not the end of the world. He's still got a lot of time to try and figure this out before Rich Brown will take the set and move on to winners, uh, losers finals. Nice down four throw. Rich Brown looking for the edge guard phase here, but Master Mario sneaks his way back in. High percent onto Master Mario. He's having a tough time here in that yellow Pikmin though. Gonna get him off the stage yet again. Up throw. No, not oh, 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 oh. Okay, he, he was di he was dying yeah. for the up throw. I, I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> and he just teleported off stage. He caught him on the wrong. He, yeah, Master Mario got the wrong di at that situation. Yeah, the, the, the Omar throws are a little bit hard to di. Like you kind of just saw the Pikmin just kind of threw him. Like yeah. you can't really tell from the animation where they where you're gonna go unless you're really looking. And I think Master Mario just kind of autopilot there a little bit. So. Rich Brown definitely winning the spacing game. I like how he tried to go for another down tilt to Ford and still going for it, even if the down tilt doesn't hit. Up Def B, not going to be able to do it yet. Town City does have the tallest sailing in this game now. I'm told that if you get the uh, the purple the purple coins from the up B, that means you got the sweet spot of it. Oh, okay. And you'll see Cappy even up here as well. Yeah. How's he going to make it back? Alrighty, just throws a purple Pikmin. A uh, very solid tilt from Olimar. I mean, we've seen it with too many times in all these different sets, so. Oh, yeah. oh gets the up smash. We're not able to find it. Definitely one thing that I'm seeing Master Mario play is a little bit too aggressive. He's hungry for the stock, able to finally get it. This is even stocks, but not percent. Master Mario kind of needs to start cooling it down and like the fact that he stood back, gets the fireball, and look at what it lead up, led up to. Oh, he definitely was hoping for that, but he yeah, saw he that armor coming through. Uh, very clutch for Rich Brown before things got a little bit too hairy. Gonna get double up there. Oh, things are getting very hairy for Mario, for sure. All right, Red Pikmin's on. 
Oh, he's trying to intercept with that there. Oh, oh we this got could a big be potential big. Kyle Corbin. 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 Still not enough town in City. Saving Rich Brown one more time. You're going to have another breath of life here at the very end before Master Mario has a chance for oh, game three. Right. Purple Pikmin does it. Puts him off stage. Takes out the stock. Takes the set. Rich Brown.